Hello students, uh, I have seen that many of you uh, could not uh, install or are finding difficulties in inst installing the C compilers in your uh, computers. So uh, it might be because of uh, this 32-bit operating system uh, some of you might be having. Dev C++ was not operating in that 32 operating system. And the Turbo C++ that I gave you, uh, it was also showing some problem. So um, what we can do is uh, you can use this uh, online platform of the SageMath cloud uh, and you can execute your own programs. So for that, just log into your Gmail account first. So here I am logging in. Log into your Gmail account and keep uh, keep your Gmail account open, and then press another tab and type Sage Math Cloud. Sage Math Cloud, yeah. So you will get a link like that, CoCalc. So you go to this link. And then go to sign in. taking time <coughs> let's do it again SageMath cloud go to this go to sign in So you will get a window of this type, uh, he, here you will see, you don't need to create any new account. You can use your uh, Gmail account, so there are several options here, Facebook, Github, Gmail and Twitter. So preferably use your Gmail account, just click here. So it will take you to the Gmail sign in page and then you choose your own account. then it may ask you uh, most of the time it will ask ask you for some uh, verification code so some code will be sent to your mobile number so you have to click this send so you will get a code in your mobile so i have got this is the code 117768 you click next after you verify the code so the connection is a bit slow ok so yeah you will get this type of page so there you can create one folder or here they say they call it a pro project say you name it as C programming or anything that you like and click create project okay next you go to this new 
so you will see that uh, it's written name your file or folder so you name it say program one dot c since we are writing a c program the extension will be dot c then click on this file create a wide range of files so your file will be created okay so here uh, you can maximize this font size and you write your C program here just as you have written in your Linux system in college or in the Windows system at home so hash include stdio.h then void main and then see we are writing brackets then let us just run this hello one um, hello world program hello world right so backslash backslash n okay so i have written the program to save it uh, it's automatically saved but uh, to be sure you just press control s okay, so it's or just click here the save save button so how to run this program to run this program again you go to this new option and then you will see there is a option called linux terminal or a terminal okay click on that option so you will get a terminal here just as you have run in your linux system in college so there you give this command gcc program one dot c dash o program one the name of your file So if there is any error it will show, if there is no error it will just uh, be itself. So this is dot slash program, program1. So in order to run the program you have to give dot slash the file name. And then press enter. So this is the output. Hello, hello world. Okay. So if you write, want to write some some other program, you can also do it. Say enter enter n. Then scan f. Percent d. Comma m percent n. So I need to define a variable here. So it's int int n, and then I write here printf. Say so you entered, you entered. Percent d, comma n. So just a simple program to illustrate. Okay, so let us run this program again here. So it's gcc program one dot c dash o program one, and then to run this program dot slash program one. So here you get enter n to so enter the value of n say eight. So output is your you entered eight. Okay. So that way you can run your program online. Right. Go to new. And name the file say program to dot c you have to give this extension and then click on file <coughs> so your file will be created here okay so there should not be any problem in running the programs now okay thank you